Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, let's make some stuff because the iPad is a content creation tool, right, Leo? Right, Sarah. Plus, <laughs> Google buys a gad. Whoa! Fox <laughs> offers free TV on iTunes and a very nice British photo magazine for a lot less money. All that and free stuff if you're a mobster on iPad today. iPad Today is brought to you by Go to My PC. Your ability to stay mobile can be the key to your success. With Go to My PC, you can work from anywhere, anytime, right from your iPad. Download the free iPad app and visit gotomypc.com for your free 30 day trial. Promo code iPad. And by Slingbox, which just turned your iPad into a television. Slingbox introduces their new iPad app, so now you can watch your home TV on your iPad anywhere you take it. Check it out at a Best Buy or Slingbox.com. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to Netflix.com slash twist. Is this where we go? Ow! No, we, we howl at the end. We're not wolves I forgot yet. my big finger thing. Well, Hello, Sarah Lane. Hi, Leo. How did are you? Did you miss me? I did. Natalie Morris filled in. She's great. Thank you so much. She was, we got a lot of really good feedback because not only is she smart, but she's very lovely. Good how? Good like get rid of Leo because he's no not, he's nobody up the place. No, everybody prefers the two of us. But when there are guest hosts, she's um, great. The, the the good ones get the accolades. Now, I, what I didn't know about Natalie is that really she's an iPad fan. Oh yeah, yeah, she loves her iPad. When she she had come to us and said it'd be fun to come on the show, and I write columns where I review children's apps regularly, and I've got a bunch. Has. Yeah, she under, has one. <laughs> right. a little, little kid. A little, little one. And so I said, well, that's great because Leo and I do cover that here and there, but neither of us have little kids. So it's like we just have to take it from other people that these apps are great. So it was nice to have Natalie come and talk about apps that she uses, she loves, and why. Really great show. So thank you, Natalie, for being on. And I'll try to take more time off. You know, I went to the Dexter set. <laughs> I know. That was so much fun. I thought until I started seeing uh, Lisa's uh, Instagram photos of you guys at tequila bars in Los Angeles that you had maybe just taken a nice long Labor Day weekend. <laughs> and then I realized, what are they doing hanging out with Dexter? That was so cool. And you know what's interesting? Uh, uh, Robert Lloyd Lewis, who's the producer of Dexter uh, mm -hmm. and a really, really nice guy, he's also... Um, a fan of this show and of Mac Break Weekly. And he's also an inventor. He invented the OpenX, which is for opening bubble uh, cases, you know, those horrible, impossible to open cases. But he's also writing an iPad app, which when he, when Bob, when it comes out, I'm, I can't wait. It's a really cool word game app. But he, so he's just really kind of a, you know, a, a renaissance man. But uh, he invited uh, actually Alex Lindsay first down to visit the studio of, of, of Mac Break. Mm -hmm. Alex saw it and he said, you got to go because what they're doing is so cool. And I was very impressed. I mean, it's really fun to watch. Have you watched the show? Oh, That's yeah. It's a yeah, great yeah. show. It's a good show. Michael C. Hall, the uh, star of it, is an amazing actor watching him work. But here's the interesting thing. And, and you've been on a television set. You've been on a movie set. You probably know. There's a lot of downtime in between takes, waiting. Uh, if you're not the star, you know, Michael's in every shot, but everybody else has to wait till their turn comes. Sure. Sometimes you might have a, just one scene and so you sit around all day. Everybody has an iPad. I, and I thought, well, does the show issue these? Because <laughs> every, literally, they all, and no, everybody has their own iPad. I saw. We know why. It's because the battery's so good. You load right. up, and because you're probably not going to be near an outlet, and you have to waste a lot of time. Interesting. About one of the uh, uh, guest stars of one of the seasons, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, who was it? I can't remember. Uses an iPad to study his lines. There's an application that will take a script, blank out your lines, and then so you read the script, and when it comes to your line, it's blank, and you practice your lines that Ooh, way. That's so cool. he was learning his lines. Uh, one, the head writer was. It's funny because you know it's a an interesting set. It's a permanent set. This is their sixth season, uh -huh. so they don't build and it. Even and though take it's it down, set in Miami, they shoot in LA. Oh, I'm not supposed to. I know. Well, that I thought. Oh, well, what, what are we going to go see? The whole thing takes place in Miami. Maybe we'll see a couple of interiors. No, they shoot it all there. They sh they go to Miami a couple of times every every couple of years right. to take some wild. I shots. guess I guess it's one of those shows you can't actually do from Toronto. 
<laughs> Vancouver, like, which is where everybody. Like, <laughs> but they use Long Beach to fill in, which is a pretty beachy place to fill in from yeah, Miami. And sure. So when Dexter's boat's in the water, that's Long Beach, not Miami. I hope I'm not uh, ruining it for you. Oh, but I'm sure some fan. Has- the Dexter's police station is a full size thing because they do a lot of those shots that everybody does now where you have a steady cam and you follow right. them through and you have all the extras doing their thing exactly. where they pick up a you know notebook and then they look or, you know and they it's, it's so like, fun to watch they that. seem like they have a purpose so fun to watch that so in effect there is bigger than this like the police station a full police station yeah. uh, you know with an elevator and everything and so there's people sitting around when they're not shooting in that room so the head writer was sitting in the lieutenant's office reading his iPad and, and Bob said what are you reading he said a poem by T.S. Eliot oh that's very uh, very uh, well, you know, esoteric. there's a T.S. Eliot app that we've talked about on the show in the past. Well, here's the funny thing. He said, oh, yeah, Michael said I should uh, I should be uh, reading the T.S. Eliot. I mean, it's really, it's the the, um, the, the director of photography, the DP, uh, Romeo, who's an amazing DP, he's been with the show since the beginning. I think he does True Blood as well. He's sitting there. He doesn't have that much to do between takes. He's reading. He's I'm watching him. He's like flipbook and stuff. So they all have their iPads. Some of it's for work. Some of it's not, but but it's really interesting to see on a on a Hollywood set. So not only are you time wasting, but you're reading. Um, They're getting stuff done. They could historical study historical poetry. They could read poetry. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really really cool. How about that? The iPad is really useful. I had no idea. Well, you know, you started off the show by saying it's just for uh, it's just for. Concept. No, I didn't. I said the exact opposite. I was poking fun at you. I don't because think you realized. Because I said it. when the iPad came out, oh, it's you'll, it's it's, it's it. for co- read only. Right. It's for reading. It's for and watching. And you've never it's, heard the end of it since. Yeah, because Apple keeps coming up with ways to create content. Well, on you it. know, at the end of the show last week, uh, we we played ourselves out with a um, a video that a fan had sent us. And it was called, gosh, what is it called? Something about a cat in a suit. Oh, now I'm going to forget. <laughs> but it was just, just this really weird psychedelic video. And, you know, the chat room it was either like, I love this, or like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. But the guy who made it said, I made it with an app called Photo Puppet HD. So I said, okay, well, I want to know more about this. Yeah, there's a techno cat in a suit. It's just this weird. So it's like, that's fun. That sort of reminds me of those old. Um, what were those old videos way I, back in the day? Where it was the fun. Viking kittens? Yeah, Same idea. It's, yeah. it's, it seems like it's a pre-made viral video. Right. Ready to go. Yeah, exactly. So it was made with a um, an app called Photo Puppet HD. He, he also used some other layers. Uh, so it was he had music that he had also created on the iPads. It was created entirely on the iPad. But I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and download Photo Puppet HD. Would you like to see my creation? <laughs> You use Photo Puppet to make something? Yeah, I did. Yay, there's Photo Puppet HD. It's just, you know... $8, it's not very expensive. It's, um, mine is a little bit more simple. There's your head. Yeah, I, I did, a little, did a little audio. I believe that's Belinda Carlisle's body. Yeah, so this is this is my creation. Let's hear it. Can we hear it? You, you're not hearing anything? Oh, you can't hear it? Turn it up, baby. Okay, turn it down. Turn it way down. Turn it all the way off. <laughs> Is that you going la 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 la? Yeah, la. that was me because I just no, didn't. No, turn it up again. I was just teasing. It, well, no, it's it's really bad. This is you know the the audio I didn't spend a lot of time on. But that's, that's the most viral part of the whole thing. It's 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 more like vile is my photo puppet creation. Okay, so here's the here's the deal. Photo puppet HD is has a bit of a learning curve. Okay, I spent quite a bit of time getting to this point. Now, maybe I'm just a moron, but I think it's the sort of thing that you really want to invest some time yeah. and effort into to make sure... Are you going to put that on YouTube? Is there a quick share? Yeah, yeah, actually there is. Uh, if I just go ahead and hit the rocket ship here, I can uh, send it to the video to my camera roll or YouTube, mail it to somebody, uh, mail the project if I wanted to, to uh, collaborate with somebody else. Um, the, yeah, maybe somebody with talent. With somebody with talent, exactly. So, but the, so the idea I'm gather, gathering from the name Photo Puppet is that you create a head of yourself. Well, so the, there are many... Okay, there's a body. Yeah, there yeah. are many layers that you can add to this. I mean, I've even stripped out a background because I just, I don't know, I wanted to keep things simple and I was starting to get really frustrated. But if I wanted to so add... take a photo from the iPad. Exactly. Or, so, or an existing head. Right. Uh, so if we actually, it's, the iPad is kind of more fun. If yeah. I was to take, I don't know if I have a, a, picture, a picture of, of you. Of me? Um, why not, Sarah? I, why not? I don't know. Why I, don't you have a picture? I actually of me? don't have that many pictures on my iPad. But let's I'm going to send you some pictures of me for your iPad. Okay. No, use MG. That's good. Okay. So he kind of, he actually sort of looks like a he's disembodied gonna, head, gonna even though you. he's not. I know. He's, gonna he's gonna really going to not like me a lot. So this is now the oh, head perfect. that goes on the body. There so you see, is. you see how things start to... AOL executive makes a statement about the latest tech crunch 
Brewer. Right. So this is the, you know, and I... have some fun with this. Right. Yeah. I don't know a thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is this is sort of the first frame of something. Now I can make the head bobble. I could make the mouth go, you know, that sort of thing. I noticed all you had was a lasso too, Larry. Is it is it hard to lasso the head? Well, that was something that I did in about two seconds flat. Yeah, faster you could So obviously, yeah, you can actually go in and they have some tools to help you finesse things a little bit. But animate the head. Well, okay, so now it gets a little tricky because... Okay, he could be a record... Co- Whoa. I know, well... That's well, a that, useful that, tool. That got weird. He could be a record company executive... Yeah. ...who's talking to so he, you about the, your new recording contract. <laughs> wow! Yeah. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record company Like executive. an executive, baby. So this is, again, like I said, th- there is... If you don't know what you're doing, a lot of time that goes by between creating something and actually making it look slightly okay. Now, you know, the whole Tinker idea... Toy, Tinker Toy Tech in the chat room just said something that I think is absolutely true. This looks a lot like Terry Gilliam's cutout animations on Monty Python. Ooh. It's that same style. In yeah. fact, he, he, he made a living. He made a name for himself doing these kinds of animations. When I, computer, of course. After I had wasted a few hours trying to make myself look like a guitar hero, yeah. I thought, you know, I'm going to take to YouTube and see if anyone's uploaded any other of their videos using this app to see, you know, oh. what you could create. And actually, I found many. So it's, 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 it's worth, lo- if you're like, is anybody with any talent actually putting stuff together? Yes, they are. Although I did find a sort of creepy example of a baby Santa. Chad, do you want to play that YouTube video? <laughs> Hello, my name is Santa Claus. So weird. A friend of mine, Rick Chandler, asked me to wish all of his Facebook friends and buddies a very, very Merry Christmas. This is, I mean, family members would really get a kick out of this if it was your new baby or something. Is the um, backdrop a can backdrop that comes with Photo Puppet, or is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He may have added the Christmas tree, but yeah. I mean, so so you can zoom in and again, and and maybe maybe I just am not good at photo puppeting, but I would assume that that took that guy quite a bit of time because you just it's, it's almost like do you ever try to learn Flash? Yeah. And it's like all, with all those like yeah. keyframes and stuff, and it's Is like this like that. Do you have tweening and keyframes and it, all that? Well, it, it, it's. There, there are some similarities in the way that it's unintuitive unless yeah. you're used to it. Right. So it just, it just takes some time. Anyway, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'll go ahead and upload this to my YouTube account if anyone's really interested in this beautiful creation I made. And why wouldn't you be? <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, two ninety nine for the app. But again, two? Oh, I thought it was four, seven ninety nine. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's just two. That's yeah, expensive. it's just two ninety nine. Yeah. The photo puppet people also they, they got a hold of us and and were nice enough to give us a couple of free codes which we never use. So app developers don't don't bother. We, 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 we want to pay for the stuff that. that we try out. It's funny you should say that because my f- my friend who does a program called Paranote just sent us the same thing. Yeah. And I like to support app developers. So if it's a few bucks, I just buy them. Right. Well, and I also feel like it gives us a better feeling of if, if it had been seven ninety nine. Right. I mean, you buy the seven ninety nine app and then if you it's... you know the pain. Right. You feel you it in your, in your cracked rib. Pain. So right. I don't know if this counts. This is more... This may be applied maybe more to our notebook... Uh, show than it does to content creation. But I very frequently am sitting in meetings with you guys or or, uh, on some of the boards that I serve on where there's a lot of talking going on and I want to take notes. Maybe if you're in a classroom, you want to take notes. And on the Mac, I've used a program called Paranote for a long time. This is really cool because it allows you, and this is their first, this just came out, their first iPad app. So it allows you to record audio and as you're recording the audio, take the notes. And here's a neat thing. The audio is synchronized to the notes so that when when you are reading your notes, you can tap a piece of text and it will jump to that part of the audio. Oh, that's so cool. So you can kind of listen back. Really great for studying. I think this is an excellent program. Uh, it's called Pear Note. Um, it works with Dropbox, which is fantastic. So if you have Pear Note for the... Um, Macintosh, it'll sync with that, and it also supports adding slides to your notes. And this is where the content creation uh, comes in. So you could, if you were watching a presentation, you could add uh, images and have the slide changes synchronized to the audio, synchronized to the text as well. There's some really nice features to this. I think that might also, uh, Notability may have these features also. 
Um, um, I'll have to check. It does, actually. It, I mean, I some it of it does. seems familiar, but yeah. we've never actually looked at Paranote before. I like the layout. Yeah, Paranote, I've used this for a long time uh, to take notes at meetings, and it, it couldn't really be easier. It's, it's, it's very simple. You see the notes. These are the notes. I'm going to create a, uh, I can create a new note just by pressing that, and then we've got a new note here. You could type here, this is the note. This is Jeopardy. And it goes along with the text. You see we have indenting, we have bullets, so it's that little outliner numeric. We have highlighting as well and some simple text formatting. So it's, it's essentially an outliner with audio recordings that tie back to the outlines, and you can put images in there as well, a slide there. That's awesome. Yeah. There was a, there's an app called Groove Coaster that was, has actually been recommended almost Daily Best by Variety. Uh, Ethan and Jason, I'm going to give you guys both credit uh, because you were the first two people to recommend this to Ooh. me. Groove Coaster. And I, for whatever reason, I thought, I don't know why I thought it was a game about a roller coaster. I just, I don't know. I, I, I snap judgment. But it is a content creation game-ish. And this is going to remind you a little bit of, remember that app that was, um, oh gosh, it was called... Nymp no. Nymphomaniac? No, it wasn't called uh. Infomaniac. It was a music app, and I I clicked on the yeah. music, and you were like, oh, this is so lame, and then you decided, actually, it's not that bad. Well, I met the, the guy who made it. So you ended up liking it better. So yeah. Groove Coaster has a little bit of the same stuff going on, but it's way more like techno cool so i'll show you how it works um, and just uh, unfortunately it only works in uh in in um and you don't want to portrait mode you, you you have one of those well i can i guess i can yeah, change but it that's the problem with the, by the way i think what with the apple cover is it's designed for hor it's designed for horizontal it's i know well that's what that's There's one no of the portrait. weird things is like why are, why isn't apple trying to get more people okay okay let's do this to make cases i know how to play this game let's go I'll oh here we go about a case in a second that i just got really excited about it. So you're playing Merrily? Um, or the song that you got was played Merrily? Well, that's this is weird. I'm not quite sure. It wants you to tap something. Well, I'm trying. It's it's straight. So please select the, select the mode. See, this is the problem with us doing creative apps. We're not really very creative. Well, no, this is... Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to... I'm telling you, the iPad is a content consumption tool. I'm going to cancel out of this <laughs> okay. because I just played this. Okay. And it shouldn't be having a problem. No, sorry. it should not. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Let's go back to Groove Coaster really? now. Where are you? I'm sorry. Groove Coaster. See, my iPad's actually been acting up in kind of a weird well, you way. Said you, now, this is interesting. You said you applied an update today yeah. that crashed it. I did. Was that an update to the iPad or to the... A program. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I need to distract you from your... Well, I just want to play the darn game. This is so weird. I'm 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 very sorry, guys. I don't know. I I, I can't figure out why Groove Coaster. I, I'm, I should be able to play between. Check that right. No. No, don't go to iTunes. Well, all right. So we'll, it's playing actual music. We'll come back to this. I don't um, know. The bad press content the creation. Left and right arrows. They say. I tried. Didn't Believe me, I tried. I don't know. We'll we'll move on to something called fancy, uh, and I love the name, but it's actually pretty cool. So, let's go into my design folder here. Um, have you? Are you interest, uh, Familiar with an app called Pinterest? No. Amber and I talked about it on the last episode of the Social Hour, and it's actually an iPhone app that doesn't work as well for the iPad. As you can see, not only is it portrait mode, um, although the, the photos actually work out kind of nicely, but it's, it's really meant for the iPhone. It's also, it's also a web experience where you follow people and you get inspired by a variety of, it looks of like images. It a little bit, but it's not, huh? Yeah, no, I think because um, everyone uses this font now, it's like, it's like the everything font of choice like that everything looks like Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it really does look like Instagram as far as the app goes. But let me go into Fancy because Fancy is actually something that I consider a, um, a Pinterest competitor and they've actually made it um, iPad so um, capable. Is the, is the idea here to sh highlight good design and inspire you maybe to, in your own Yes, work? exactly. And it's not just design. It's like if I wanted to search for uh, shoes, right? Because well, that's I, inspiring. Well, listen, sometimes I need a little bit of help. Like what's going on in the shoe world, right? So this is, let's say I, I really liked these green shoes. I actually really do. They're really cute. So this is something that I could say, okay, I fancy this. I've, I've basically bookmarked it for myself. But you're not buying them. Or no. It's not, it's not a shopping app. No, but it could be. If you wanted to take it there, like if I'm like, I want to know more about this, I click on the briefcase. It takes me to the originating site that was shared on right. Fancy. Um, so then I would have so the option. So this ties back to a blog, the Fancy blog? Or? Yeah, well, this 
this is actually these are these are shoes that the company Chrome, it's like a bike messenger mm -hmm. uh, bag um, company, is selling. So these are shoes that yeah, if I if I wanted to go a step further or say oh th this actually is the um, the page that I'd want to share with Leo because if I share with him at Fancy, then he's got to figure out where the Chrome site is. So, got it. you know, it gives you it gives you a little bit of a context of what the stuff, you know, is is cool. Who thinks it's cool? Why it's cool? I can add a um, I think Kevin a comment. Rose thinks those shoes are cool. Well, he probably does. Yeah. It seems those like something like that, that he would like. Kevin would wear. Well, yeah. Chrome is kind of a big deal in San Francisco. It's you know, it's 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 very <laughs> hipstery. But these are. Uh, let's go back to. Um, Let's go back to. So, but it's not just shoes. Home. No, 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 no. That was just a keyword that I that okay. I searched for. Here's Imperial Forces wallpaper. Now, who the f wouldn't want that? Pardon my French. That's cool, right? That is really cool. I was actually at at um. Action at, figures not included. Right. I was. I, I took a picture next to. Oh, great. Well, fancy uh, crashes. Your computer. You know what? We got to get you a new up. iPad. Your iPad is not happy. Well, I don't. You I, re I presume you reset it after you. Yeah, yeah, I did. Huh. I did a nice hard reset. It might just be the app, too. I mean, this does happen every once in a while. So the idea is, is that, well, I definitely like this. And this is definitely something that I'd want to share with my geek-minded friends. I see these kinds of apps, like Pinterest and this, a lot. And I'm, yeah. I, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> so here, you're not shopping. Well, you could be shopping. What you're doing but, is, okay, so this is how I explained Pinterest on uh, the social hour is, it is a digital... Um, Browse. It's like... Scrap Scrapbook. You know why I don't get it? Because I'm a guy. This is shopping. This is a form of grazing that, the, that women do mostly, right? I think, or designers. I think even an app like Cool Hunting is a little bit more about shopping. This isn't shopping then. Well, it, it can be. That's the thing. It's like this wallpaper is highlighted so that if I really wanted my Boba Fett um, uh, Stormtrooper wallpaper, I could figure out where it came from. Fur9999 is saying it's like a message board. Is that right? I mean, yeah. or a forum. It's a new social. It's a way of being social. Yeah, but the, I mean, there definitely are social aspects. It's a new, um, it's a, these, it's a new category, I guess. These are people who have recently fancied the wallpaper. I can yeah. go ahead and learn more about these people and the other things that they you fancied and share follow it them. On Twitter or Google+. You I mean, could if you wanted to. Yeah. But the idea is not that everything is just being sent out. You can stay within fancy. And by the way, they do have uh, a web experience as well. This is and that's how they started. Right. So it's thefancy.com. Um, if you're interested in that, but this is, you know, Mad Track. He hasn't added in a bio yet. It must um, be, it must be a hot category because as you pointed out, we're seeing a number of these kinds of programs. Now. Yeah, very much so. Ooh, these are cool bookcases. Tell me you don't like the tree bookcases. I do. I just, I don't Tough have enough crowd. time in my life to go, go through <laughs> go through stuff saying, oh, that's cool. So let's that's say cool. that Jennifer. Is this hot or not for design? <sighs> Well, but you're not thumbs up and downing the way either. that you are on stumble upon. You just, if you don't like something, you just move on. Well, somebody's saying, well, what if we're in hardware store? Like, if we're a guy, if we're guy stuff. No, I, w I still wouldn't. Like, if we're, you know, cool geeks. I don't. I just don't. It, uh, I don't know. So, you probably haven't remodeled or no. or interior designed anything. That's recently. what it's for. Okay, now yeah. see, that's why I said designer because so I could see Roger, the guy who designed her set, exactly. going through this looking for ideas. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's like that. It's it almost has a catalog quality where you go, wow, that's such a neat bathroom. I never would have thought of painting the wall that color. And then you move on from there, and you might end up bookmarking a few things that you'd like to go back to or show somebody else. It's first time this has happened. What? On uh, any show that we do, I feel old. Well, I think it's a generational thing. It's, it's you know, just, in you my, just, you during just, World War II, we didn't have anything like that. You just have to design more bathrooms. I You'll feel so. young have again. Have you designed a bunch of bathrooms? No, not a one. <laughs> I'm not very good. I, I, you should I think see you're my right, house. And, you, and I think you're right. I, I could see that's exactly that's it, exactly. If you, how. if you have something where you're like, I've got kind of a project, and I'd like to start pulling some ideas in an outline yeah, sort of no, a way. No, I get it. It's inspirational. Yeah. And it's also totally free. So this right. is a free app to just play around there in. There you go. If you want to, you know, if you've got a purpose, great. But if you don't, I found some cool, I mean, I'm not going to buy Stormtrooper wallpaper because I've read a place and what am I, I can't put wallpaper up in my apartment if, if, kid, if I wanted though, to. If you had a kid. Exactly. Or you were a kid at heart. Exactly. Yeah. And you have a lot of disposable income because it's probably <laughs> not cheap. Uh, but, but the app itself is free. So that's a good time. Batman money clip. Say no more. I'm there. I love this stuff. It's just good stuff. Mm. Do, do, are, aren't you I'm happy just enough. knowing that it's out there? No, I'm not hip enough. You don't, you don't care that there's a Batman money clip somewhere? No. In someone's wallet? No. Um, in someone's <laughs> jeans? Well, I think you ought to you live know, a little bit more. It's also a weird juxtaposition because as far as I could tell, it's only old men who carry money clips. 
So I don't understand who would want a Batman money clip. An old man who likes Batman. Who likes Batman, maybe. Okay. They exist. <laughs> okay. You should know. <laughs> For all the links. I think this is the new retro. Because you see you see young guys wearing old man hats and carrying money clips. Right. They're and, pretending and to be old, old men. And old men with very young women. They're young. Uh, with now that I'm for. Wallpaper. I'm all for that. Yeah. Yeah. For all the links to the apps we just mentioned, visit us at <laughs> twit.tv slash IPT. That's our show page. Look at that. And That's hey, the new show page. if you haven't hung out on our new it's webpage pretty. recently... It is cool, new and improved. This is where you find all of our archived episodes. If you're ever, sometimes you guys email us and say, would you talk about this kind of app? And I say, why? We, we talked about that in episode 55 at great length. Don't you remember? Uh, so you go ahead and email us if you want to, iPad at twit.tv. But this is also a place to just browse around almost in a fancy sort of way <laughs> and just see what you come across. You are Ooh, right look. there, Sarah. An alarm <laughs> clock app recap episode. Don't mind if I do. We also have nice little tweet buttons, Facebook likes, even a Google Plus One button as well. So there are all sorts of ways to share stuff with your friends if you like what we do. Um, and uh, subscribe to the show if you want. If you just want it to appear for you each week and you don't want to think about it, that. we have audio and video feeds. It's easy as pie. Yeah, it's good we're stuff. There. We're getting there. Yeah, we are. I mean, we, we're, I mean, I think we're 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 pretty much we're pretty much done. We'll make little tweaks here and there. <laughs> We're not ready hey, to do that how yet. How would you like to access your PC or Mac on the go? More than you'll ever know. Oh, my God. How would you like to use your iPad to, to, to do Windows or to do Mac? How Blowing my you, mind. It can't be done. It can be done it can't only be done. one way, though. The best way, go to mypc.com. I want you to go there right now. Click that orange Try It Free button and uh, use the offer code iPad. You get 30 days free of this great software. Here's how it works. Uh, you can actually go to the uh, App Store right now and download Go To My PC uh, for the iPad. Uh, of course, it works on a PC or a Mac or anything. Click that Try It Free button on there, and you can still use the offer code iPad. It'll still bring you to the website. But the key is you want to install Go To My PC. Here, we'll just type this in so you all remember. I-P-A-D. You could you want to install this on your computer at work or at home. The computer you want to access remotely. And then... With go to my PC on your iPad or any other computer, it could be a library computer, it could be a computer uh, at, at you know uh, at a hotel, at the pool. You log in to your go to my PC account and you're connected to that computer, that remote computer that you installed go to my PC on. So it's a great way to access the office computer when you're on the road. You can send and receive email, run any program, access network resources, drag and drop files, all of that through go to my PC. It is simply put the easiest, fastest, most secure, most reliable remote access software out there. And it's free to you for the next 30 days. Visit it today. Go to mypc.com on your iPad or your PC. Click the Try It Free button and uh, start playing with Go to My PC right now. You're going to love it. Go to mypc.com for the folks at Citrix. And we thank them deeply for our... Our bottom of our hearts. So much thanks. So, so much thanks. Liu, why? I did, was shocked. Why? Shocked. Why did Google buy shocked. Zagat? Which is which is pronounced Zagat, by the way. It's you can think of it as Zagat. Well, it's because that's it's, how I always remember. It's their it's the names of the couple, the Zagats, who founded this guy. But people say Zagat right, or but Zagat. Their, but their actual name is is Zagat. And that's why it's just it's not and a made up I word. I've been using Zagat on the iPhone, on the iPad, on the Android phone. Anytime, in fact, if you ever travel around with me, you'll see. Uh, in Paris, I use this. We, I, I know. Been around I, forever. Yeah, I love it. And I uh, used to use the paper guidebooks. You know, you've seen those long, tall, yes. red guidebooks. Mm -hmm. But you buy the Zagat app on your mobile device, and uh, it tells you what restaurants are nearby, rates them via food quality or uh, decor or service. You see there. You see where we are. See mm -hmm. all those restaurants in there, and you you can choose. You know, I'm looking for Chinese restaurants within five miles, and it'll show you all of them and rate them. And I have to say, the ratings come from users, right? So I find them very reliable. Now they tend to be more reliable in foodie areas like Austin, San Francisco, New York, where there are a lot of users who are big foodies than they are in smaller towns or places where, in fact, some small towns they don't even have Zagat ratings. Um, 
but around here, I think these are very right on ratings. Every time I, I look at these ratings, that's my favorite restaurant in the Petaluma. We were just there. Yeah. It's so good. It's excellent. And what do they give it? A 25? Uh, 26? The food is 25. Decor is 20. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty that's high about ratings. Right. Yeah. yeah, 30 is the top. I've never seen the 30. Uh, best restaurants I've ever seen are 27, 28, 29. But in Paris, it worked. And it was so much fun when we were there in December to look for a great restaurant, find it, and enjoy it. Zagat is fantastic. Google bought them. Uh, and I think it kind of makes sense. I mean, Google wants to be like Yelp, right? They've got Google Places. They're looking for ratings and reviews. I think this adds considerably to the value of Google Places. So I'm pleased. I'm glad that the Zagat couple is doing very well mm -hmm. because I'm sure Google spent a lot of money. We don't know. And um, I, I, I think it, it's a good fit. I, Google buys a lot of stuff that I might not agree with, but... Don't you think this is good for Google? I think it's great for Google, and yes, I assume we don't know how much how much money. No. Uh, I I, I didn't see that tens anywhere. Tens of millions, if not more. I would think. I mean, Zagat is a very solid brand. I remember I first heard about it visiting a friend in New York, because she just had one of the little books. Right. And it was like I had not heard of it, and she was like, "What? They don't have that in San Francisco? Are you crazy? Oh, you I don't go it. anywhere unless yeah. I read about it first in my little Zagat book." Now you remember Google tried to buy Yelp. Two years ago, yes, and was fa and failed. They had their own Yelpish kind of Zagatish kind of service called Hot Pot. Remember that? Sort of. Still around. It's a recommendation engine. You can still vote for stuff, but nobody uses it. So I think what they realized is we need to buy a known brand so that people uh, will use it. And um, I think I, Yelp I think too smart. probably was like, we want to build our own service that is better independent of Google. Where Zagat might say, actually, Google can get a lot out of this, but we could still run independently, almost like Amazon and Zappos, right? I wonder if they'll keep doing the guidebooks. I bet they don't. I, do you think they'll still print the books? Why not? Don't, don't you think people buy a lot seems of like like old school people buy yeah, them? It seems like a business Google's not in. It, that's very true. That's very true. Well, congratulations to uh, Nina Zagat, because uh, I think they still own it, and I think that they probably made a very nice bundle of cash. It's a great app. We've definitely talked about Zagat um, in the past when we talked about city guides and food guides and it's just, it's a great, it's definitely a great iPad to have, must have because it, it's laid out really well and there's so a lot of information there. Imagine if you're, you will. Yes. You're the CEO of a, of a major Fortune 500 <sighs> internet company. Okay, yeah, I'm there. And you just got a call from the chairman of the board who reading from a script oh, okay. fires you. Oh. What do you do? You grab your iPad, you run out the door, and you fire off a missive to everybody in the company hey, saying... Hey, company of thousands. Screw you. Screw you, board. And that's exactly what Carol Bartz just did. She did. She was fired, of course, as CEO of Yahoo after two and a half rocky years. She hasn't really been able to turn around the company. And it, the first thing she does, and everybody got this memo. I think uh, Kara Swisher at uh, All Things D was the first. She was the first. But it says... At the very bottom, Carol Bartz sent, sent from my, my iPad. iPad. <laughs> Which, of course, is that's the default signature that anyone will send that. unless you take it hey, out. What, did you change the signature? No. Pen? I'm proud to send things from my iPad. I and I also feel that. like it gives people context. I am not ashamed. I'm just um, curious what my signature is. It's in mail, right? Well, so, and you can, you can also... Uh, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. I've changed it, but I left... Via iPad in there. Oh, there you go. And I tell you why you do do that. Because for brevity. Yeah, it explains kind of why all the typos, yeah. why it's so short. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I sound like I'm drunk. No, no, no. I'm just typing. You've seen from my that iPad. signature, right? If they're if the typing, if the if this yeah. is weirdly please, typed, please, please excuse right. misspellings. Right. Yeah. Uh, so Carol, I I. I I like my iPad, too. Good on her, um, you know? And uh, I'm sorry that you were fired over the phone. You should have been fired via app. Um, I don't know that Yahoo has any. Does Yahoo have any apps? The Flickr app isn't even optimized for the iPad yet. Yeah, that's a good question. I can't think of any. If there are any that we should know about, let us know. But I can't think of one. Uh, the flipper, uh, the flipper, the Flickr app flipper. for the iPhone has been ignored since right. it came out. There are third-party oh, ones. Yeah, that's true. So I got an email from uh, Justin Boudreaux of sevenclovers.com. Okay. You know, one of the things I've not liked about the iPad smart cover is because Apple started selling these on the iPad 2 right away, everybody got one when they got the iPad 2, right? And it kind of precludes any other cover. And I really think that it doesn't protect your iPad that much. It's just this kind of flimsy thing that falls right off, and it doesn't protect the back at all. Well, Justin sent along 
a new kind of iPad cover that works with a smart cover. So see, I still have the smart cover on here, but I fit it on the back, this iPad cover Ooh. that protects it. It has space for the speaker and for the camera and everything. I think this is pretty nice. You see, it protects the edges like that. Um, and you still can, you know, the other nice feature is you would always know where you should put your, uh, your smart cover. Right, because it, it adds it's only a space. One way it can go. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it still needs that magnetic area exposed. That's great because I don't have a huge problem with the back of my iPad, but well, you've talked about this before that it it's annoying me. that the smart cover only covers yeah, the front. Yeah, it bugs me. And since everybody got one, it's kind of, I don't think there's been a great big iPad cover business because everybody's got the front cover. Kind so of, yeah. This is sevencovers.com and they call it their iPad 2 cover. Seven covers or clovers? You said clovers at I first. said clovers because they have a seven, they have a four leaf clover oh. in their logo, but you're right, it's sevencovers.com. Seven covers. Well, all right. Thank you for correcting me there. And uh, $25 uh, for their cover. And I think that's quite uh, affordable and probably a great thing. I love it. Sevencovers.com. Thank yeah. you. I, w I would you, like Justin. one as well. Uh, don't Justin, send would you send me. Sarah just, one? I, no, I will covet yours. <laughs> you covet my cover? I will, I will covet yours. Lover my cover? Fox did something interesting on iTunes this week. What did they do? You know that cute actress, Zoe Deschanel, Love that everyone her. loves? And I, can't I don't think she's ever made show. an acting misstep. No, she's just adorable. Well, you can see her new show. In I'd fact, like you can to, watch the first episode No, it for doesn't free. premiere for a couple of weeks. No, it's actually on iTunes. It's on iTunes. What? Right now. Yeah, they, um, for Fox, free. Fox decided instead of, uh, they've, um, it's called The New Girl, right? It's called The New Girl. Yeah, and um, I actually, I, I went to uh, iTunes within, let's see if it's still, I'm sure it's still um, featured in the TV shows section As here. Web7372 said in our chat room, she's the smart, quirky art chick. Every girl. She's great. Every wants. I mean, who doesn't love her? Remember okay, so Tin this Man? is... She was uh, Dorothy in Tin Man? I don't, actually. I that was the remake that. of The Wizard of Oz they did on sci-fi. So if you go to iTunes on your iPad, well, it doesn't have to be on your she's iPad, but certainly you can... She's got that great band. Uh, she and Him. She and Him, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, she has a great voice. In fact, I've noticed that a lot of her acting seems to now include singing at some point. That's what happens when it's like a singer-actress. They're she like, was, and you should sing. She was summer in Five Days of, 500 that, days of 500 Summer. 500 Days of Summer, which is so good. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the pilot episode on iTunes is free. Now, they're going to end up uh, offering it in a variety of other places, but iTunes got, got it first. Now, I have to say, this is not unusual to offer the first episode or the pilot episode for free, but it is unusual to offer it two weeks before air date. Yes. I thought that was kind of surprising. Yeah. Um, I can't remember that happening before. Well, and I... I can't remember Fox ever doing that before. I mean, I've seen clips or yeah, or and something it's not unusual when you're selling, you know, a season to have the first episode for free, right? To kind of as a as a come on. But I, I like the idea of of releasing it early. I, I I think they did that maybe with Nurse Jackie on Showtime because mm -hmm. uh, I think that's how I found out about Nurse Jackie. A lot of great. this. There's also uh, this episode comes with a sneak peek area. A lot of shows will do that, and you can always tell by how long the total running time is. Like five minutes. That's not an episode. I don't even want to bother. Nope. I don't really like behind the scenes stuff personally. But the pilot's a solid 25 minutes, and then once it does download, and some of you, I know people get frustrated because it's better to subscribe when you're not on your iPad because you can only do the one at a time. Right. But for something like this, if you go into the video area, which I did, I mean, this is the show. I won't play too much of it. It's just beginning. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks funny. I love her. Douchebag jar. Great. It's a perfect show for me. <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't checked you have it out. You one of those in your home? <laughs> <laughs> Put a quarter in. <laughs> you were just a... I think somebody should pay five bucks every time they say that word. Actually. Sorry. Yeah. Is that a bad word? No, I just don't like I it. I just read what I saw. I so, know you you know, if you You're like know. me. It's just, yeah. you, it goes in the eyes, comes yeah, in the I know, eyes. exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. That's why I'm like taking down all the mics around this office. <laughs> I'm going to say something terrible and I'll be arrested. <laughs> hey, by the way. Yes. Uh, if you are going to watch New Girl. Uh-huh. And then you get all excited about this. And right. then you'd like to watch it the next episode, but you're in a hotel or you're somewhere where you... Sling Player. Have I mentioned Sling Player? The Sling Box? Oh, my God. It's fantastic. Now, what, how does this work again? How I, does it work? Okay, it's I very simple. You get remember. this box oh, okay. that you hook up to your TV setup. So your DVD, your DVR. Uh, you could hook it up to your cable or satellite box. And then you hook it up to the Internet. So it's got, like, ports for everything. Everything can pass through it. It's got right. all these ports in the back. And then... Uh, you have a password and a login, and you can basically, anywhere you are, you can log into your Slingbox, 
and watch your home TV setup, including your DVR. You can program your DVR. You can play back stuff from your DVR. No, wait so a second. So it gives you full so access to your home TV setup on the road over the internet. You're not just watching live TV. You're watching anything that you pre-recorded to watch later. Yeah. And you can rewind and fast forward. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, NFL season's Magic. coming up tonight. Uh, your favorite team. Uh, you're it's out of Saints town. the playing the, I don't know, the other guys. I'm impressed. Well, I only knew half of it, so don't be that impressed. <laughs> half impressed. I like the Saints. Yeah. They come marching in, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be in that number. Yeah. So the idea here is that <laughs> we've got, we could do it on a PC. We could do it on a Mac. We could do it on your iPad. And what it does is it turns, with the Sling Player mobile app, turns your iPad into, and I really think this is one of the things I think the iPad is so good at, a personal TV set. Yes. You can watch anything on the road, anywhere you are. You could, even, you could even, oh, shoot. You know what? I think it's got disconnected. Well, anyway, you could even be at the big game, and they don't put the replays on the big game, but doesn't matter. You're watching on your iPad. You don't get reception on your iPad, but you got the internet on your iPad and you're watching. Your iPad has become self-aware. See, it moves. It Every time you move own... it one way, it says, you know what, Leo, I don't actually <laughs> I don't want to stay there. there. I want to do my own thing. Uh, I want to go sit on that other chair. I'm just trying not to see myself in it. I love seeing box on the iPad. It's the perfect way. If, if I... If I, uh, I don't know. I, I wish I wish we had this years ago. Yeah, Isn't it, it great? It's it's so it's so Minority Report. It's like take your whole cable subscription <laughs> with you and this little tablet. If you want to know more? Go to slingbox.com/slash/twit or visit Slingbox at uh, a Best Buy near you. Slingbox.com/slash/twit. Got an email from Ed in Sydney, Australia. Says Hello, love the show. Hello. Just to let you know, in case you don't already, that the web browser Puffin, that's P-U-F-F-I-N, converts Flash player items into HTML5, so wow. you can see the items on your iPad. Interesting, Ed, because I was just trying to figure out which was the best alternative browser besides Safari that would let me play Flash. Because let me go back to um, Yoga. <laughs> Puffin. I've not heard of this one. You know, it's com. great because at first Apple did not allow alternative web browsers on the iPad, and now there's a ton of them. Right. And it's great because of things like, if you want to watch Flash, the way Puffin works is probably the same as other play, uh, browsers like this, which is they re-encode the Flash on the fly from their servers and then play it back to you so that you can watch it on the iPad. Because there's still no Flash on the iPad, and Puffin doesn't put it there. It just takes the video and re-encodes it so you can watch it. But it, a good idea. Well, but it's interesting because, okay, so this is... Skyfire is the other one that does that. Yeah, Skyfire is the other one. Uh, this is, Yoga Glow is a really cool yoga service where you can actually watch yoga classes That's that are recorded. Great. Yeah, as they... I don't know why this is... not working. Facebook, well, I, I'm actually... I wanted to show you in Safari how it doesn't work that well, oh, but it well, actually doesn't really matter that much. You've succeeded. What I ended up uh, doing is I opened it up in Puffin, okay. and I thought, okay, well, because I know that these are Flash videos... I'm not going to be able to watch it. And I'm not going to be able to watch them... But let's go ahead and watch. This is They're not free, by the way. So sure enough, you see that little flash error, but then <gasps> Puffin goes loaded. ahead and loads. And you know, it did that fast. It did that fast, but the reason that it did is because then it ends up looking kind of jittery. Uh -huh. This is not great video. The audio sounds fine, uh -huh. but the video is not awesome. And you know what else you can't do? You can't, like... Blow it up or anything like that. Right. It kind of stutters a little bit. So I said, okay, well, let's compare this to Skyfire because that's the only one that I knew of in the past. And it does the same thing. That it had flash support. So let's go back to, we'll start over. So I'm being fair. Um, and I think I clicked on this same guy. One. Yeah, the Hatha video, Hatha Yoga. So it's going ahead and, and by the way, if it ever doesn't load, uh, th this little video uh, icon is, is the way to start. So I'll go ahead and click play. And this one actually plays quite a bit better. Interesting. See, it's like there's no jitter, yeah, it's, it's moving more normally, but that's not all. So if I go ahead and click into here. You can go full screen. And we don't have any, uh, nothing, no AirPlay devices in here, but at home, I was able to send this to my living room TV 
because it supports airplay. See, that's nice. Really nice. So for something like Puff this, do Skyfire. I would rather see this on yeah. my big screen. I mean, iPad is fine, you know, if you're traveling or whatever. Right. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, so this, is, this is a very good example. I know many of you say, yeah, we don't need Flash. We're, you know, we're, we're in a post-Flash era. But there are those sites, you know them, where they, they do still require you to use Flash. And it can be really annoying not to experience a site otherwise. So Puffin, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't work for some sites, but in my opinion, Skyfire is a better bet. I am not a big fan of Flash on these tablets anyway. I kind of support Apple's uh, desire to keep Flash off of the iPad. And as a result, a lot of websites that used to have a lot of Flash now don't, which is another good thing. That's as true. As I'm concerned. Yeah, that's true. I'm when we're, when we're still in the in-between phase, it's nice right. to have, have the, the little ways around. Got an email from Braden in Sacramento. Uh, last week we talked about why CNN bought Zeit. Natalie right. and I said, that's kind of out of nowhere. What, what, what do they want with Zeit? Uh, Braden says, I don't think it has to do anything with branding. Don't be surprised if CNN doesn't even put their logo anywhere. The real reason they want it is that Zeit provides them a free service, a free survey of what's popular, what's interesting. Because Zeit is the magazine program on the iPad that you give thumbs up or thumbs down right. to each article. Yeah, you tell them, these are the kind of categories that I generally like, technology, the, photography, that sort of thing. The advantage to you is you get a customized magazine as it learns your interests, yeah, but and it gets CNN smarter. might learn what your interests are. Right, so it's like if they have all this information... Sense and geolocated yeah. information on where people are and what they want to read, then it helps CNN give you a better experience. Braden says, think how much money news companies spend polling on what people want to know about. With Zeit, they can just look at stats and know what subjects and ideas they should focus on. And I think he's onto something. Plus polls, people may lie on polls, but they don't lie when they're... Yeah, if I'm using up, Zeit, I'll down. read whatever garbage That's I want to read yeah, right. because who's no looking way, over no my shoulder? Knows. CNN actually is possibly, <laughs> so... Anyway, thanks, Brayden. Uh, that's a really, I think, I think you're right. Voicemail from Steve. Uh, he has the age-old question, which iPad should I get? Hey, Leo and Sarah. This is Steve from New Hampshire. And I've been playing around with iPads for the last, you know, several months. And yesterday I had this, finally I had an experience where it was sitting in my hand and I really felt like I wanted one. Um, as, as of right now, it's still be kind of a luxury device. There's no real need for one in my life. However, um, I was curious if I do get one, I'm really wondering about the size um, because the, the I have a, a 15 uh, gigabyte uh, iPhone and it's doing well so far but I'm wondering if I probably want to put more on there if I had an iPad so I was curious if you can give me some um, advice about what kind of size um, in terms of gigabytes uh, to get because the prices do go up uh, with these level so thanks a lot love the show bye they certainly do. So I have we I don't which capacity do you have? I have thirty two gigabyte. I always just buy the biggest. And but you know what? That's just stupid. He only flies first class it's too. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, business. Yeah. <laughs> not first. You um, mean business. Um I went into my settings. I don't know. You if you go honest. into general settings and then about, it's yeah, right, the first thing I'm at the top. Yeah. I was like, you know, how much capacity am I even using in my 32? Um, I've got about 13 gigabytes left. So I'm using, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know, two thirds. And look, my applications, I have 274 applications, uh, just a, 80 photos, barely any videos because I always, I always flush them out. Just a few songs. So most of my stuff is applications. It works fine for me. I mean, my iPad's been a little bit weird on this episode, so I don't know if there gets to be a point where you just have too many applications. But I think if, you, if he already has a 16 gigabyte iPhone, that seems to be working out well for him. It really I probably have, depends on what kind of video this one services is, uh, you want to This be one's using. a 64 gig. Uh-huh. With 3G. Yeah. Uh, 27 left. I don't think, you know, I mean, here's the thing. How big is your, look on iTunes and see how big your music library is. Right. If you are one of those people that wants the whole thing on your iPad, well, then you're going to have to get an iPad big enough to hold it. But what I suggest is that you use playlists and mm -hmm. only put, you know, some of your library on there, maybe changing it every time you sync. Um, I don't think the, the apps or the videos or the uh, songs are going to take, or the photos are going to take about that much room. So, you know, it's really if you put a lot of video on it that you need the space. Well, so why do you get the biggest iPad then if you really don't feel like because you need... Because I can. Because you can. All right, well, um, I don't at least know. you're Actually, honest. I don't know. I don't know why I do. I just, Is I feel it, like what I well, don't you know, want... You feel like you are you might need it and you right. don't know if you do this, yet or this not. This is not, the be, you know, this is a work device. This is not my personal iPad. Your iPad's covered in butter, apparently. Yes. You just can't keep it in one place. You know, I everywhere. think if you were just to turn it over, it wouldn't <laughs> fall 
every five seconds. Turn it over? Yeah, you, you know. But then we didn't set the cameras for that. You just use a smart cover as as it's, it looks yeah, just fine. See, look at that. For that. Look that at that. Okay? It's beautiful. All right. All so right. here's the deal on this. I, I also think the other question is 3G. Because remember, 3G is an additional $129. So should you get how, how much space or should you get Wi-Fi? If you're really cheap, $499, and that's the price everybody quotes, that's a 16 gig Wi-Fi only iPad. You also, with without the 3G, don't get GPS. Right. So you have to think about how you're going to use it. And there is no right answer. Get, uh, I would say, you know, don't do what I do. I get the biggest one I can with all the features because I'm reviewing stuff. Yeah. I need all that stuff. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have 273 applications on here if I didn't have to review them. Right. Um, so look and see how your usage is going to be. I bought the biggest one because this is what I am doing for a living. If what you're doing is you want some of your music, a little bit of video, you don't need GPS, uh, you only use Wi-Fi, then save some money. I think 3G, if you can swing it, if, if, nice. if you can only have one luxury of the bigger hard drive or the 3G, the 3G has saved me so many times. I can't tell you how many times I've been at the airport or something with some friends and I they're agree. like, how are you using that? Oh, you have a 3G iPad. Wow, but that's you, so nice. He may, for instance, have a phone that has a hot spot. Totally. And then he could use the phone so that's he wouldn't true. have to spend the extra money. It, 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 there is no right answer. There, you have to yeah. think about how you use it. But I do agree, 3G might be more useful than you might imagine because it mm -hmm. really is always... Having this to be able to go to lunch or anywhere and always mm -hmm. having it on is really great. It yeah. really is great. To Definitely. To be able to get to the internet always. Yeah, you're in a coffee As, shop and they don't have Wi-Fi or it's crappy. It's like you don't even have to think about it. It, it actually is. Uh, somebody said in the chat room, you don't don't really get the full value of the iPad until you have 3G and it's always on the internet. So, so maybe that's something to, something to consider. Mind. We also got a duh tip from Brian in Ohio. Take it away, Brian. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Leo. I uh, was just watching episode number, uh, I think it's 57, new apps on the block. You were talking about additions. I'm a little up behind on the episodes. I'm sorry. I've been busy with my little daughter, Maggie. She's Maggie. almost five months Hi, old. Hi, Maggie. Yeah, yeah, Anyways, Maggie look alike. Uh, you were lamenting the fact that it didn't support Instapaper. This is a dot tip for apps that don't support Instapaper. Instapaper. If the app supports um, emailing an article, Instapaper, your Instapaper account comes with an email address. Put that address in your address uh -huh. book, and all you have to do is then email the article to Instapaper. What a great That's idea. That's my dot tip. Thanks, good Brian. That's exactly really good. Right. Yep. We've, yep. We, we do a, a fair share of complaining. Well, it doesn't have Instapaper support, and that's kind of a, you know, a mark against it. But he's right. They always have an email right. option. Which means you could not only use Instapaper, but you could use Evernote. Mm -hmm. uh, you could use Delicious or Pinboard bookmarking. So if you put an email in your app, you really have given us, you know, a, a wide array to of things so we much could stuff. Do. I yeah. think the developers are, are, have probably been like, uh, actually, email is email. our way of giving you everything. Yeah, we got email. What do you want? What do you want? And so, want? and we go email. Who's doing that? <laughs> Who's sending each other articles via email, email anymore? So, thank you, Brian. Very good reminder that there uh, we all have Instapaper email addresses associated with our account. A lot of services do that. Um, quickly, I just wanted to point out something that we've gotten a few uh, confused people about, and that's on our very own. Twitch TV it's our fault. site. Yep. When you access it from the iPad, uh, some people have noticed. Let's go Twitch. First of all, TV. when you access from the iPad, you should be getting our mobile version. That's right. I hope you are, because we spent a lot of money for that. Uh, let's see if you do. You know, I, I, I ashamed of myself. I haven't checked this. Is that the mobile version, Colin? I don't even know. It looks like the mobile version. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So the deal is, is that some people have said, well, you've got recent episodes in here, right. but then I can't get, like, I can't see what's after the first oh. one and a half. What the heck? Well, that's terrible. Well, it's a two finger scroll thing, uh. but sometimes it's not obvious to people. Is got, that a, I, my name, I have to cut my name Is nails, that a feature so. of the iPad? Well, I didn't know it existed either. Colin told me because I forwarded something to him from a fan. I was like, this is an issue. We have to fix this. And he Did said, he say, for crying out loud, just use a two finger scroll. Well, he said it more nicely, but I think that's how he felt <laughs> when he told me. Doesn't everybody know hey, about that? Hey, guess what? This is how your site works. But anyway, if you're one of the people who have found that it's frustrating to navigate around Twit TV when you're on your iPad, uh, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps a bit. And let us know if there are any areas where that doesn't work or it's still unintuitive, but hopefully that helps. I so didn't know it. I didn't know it either. And the chat room saying this is not this is a feature of the iPad, of Safari and the iPad, is that you 
could have, if you have internal scrolling inside a window, you can two finger it. Do you think that it's confusing though for people? It's like, I, I see that this is a window because obviously there's text that kind of fit. Bar. Yeah, it's like you almost want a little arrow well, or something I'll be like honest, that. That's not us. That's how the iPad does it. Yeah. And uh, in fact, that's how Lion does it too now on, uh, on Macintosh. And I have some problem with that. I like seeing that scroll bar. It's a signal to me there's more to see. Sure. That, I agree. Yeah. yeah I, I want to know. There's yeah. more to it. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to iPhone, anybody that was... iPhone 2, by the way. That works on the iPhone 2. It does? Yep. Gosh, those it's little kind of windows. It's an iOS feature. That'd yeah. be like, yeah, put your yeah. fingers really close together. Yep. Just a reminder that we love hearing from you guys. You can email us, iPadaday at twit.tv. You can call us, 757-504-IPAD. Or like Brian and little Maggie, who I think had the hiccups. Hopefully she's, <laughs> got, so she's gotten rid of her hiccups. <laughs> uh, you can send us a video. Just <laughs> upload it to the video hosting site of your choice and send us the link so we don't have to download anything. And thank you in advance. It's so great to see and hear and, and read your thoughtful prose. Really? Yes, really. It's not what you said last it's, night. It's one of my... Well, that's Those. because... No, I'm just that kidding. Was she loves the emails. Song. She's she's. I'm kidding. She's a lover, not a fighter. So, folks, if you are at home at night, I bet you do this. <laughs> she's about to fight me. You saying I can't fight? You fight. You fight. If you're at home <laughs> and you're sitting in front of your TV and you're going, entertain me. <laughs> What? You're going... Okay, I'm doing it. I'm ready. Entertain me. Give me some Zoe Deschanel. I'm ready. And the TV's just kind of looking at you blankly. You need Netflix streaming, my friends. Netflix streaming. See how it perked her up? I Net love Netflix. <laughs> Netflix is fantastic. Let me just see if uh, Zoe Deschanel... Is That's, that how you say yes, it? Yes, yes. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at all these Netflix movies. This is what I like about um, having uh, Netflix... Now, um, I don't, this is, oh, you know what happened? What? She spells it Zooey. Yes, it's Z-O-O-E-Y. Two O's. Kind of weird. Well, it's not, it's just different. Well, it's just different. It's different. It's so, zo Zooey is Zooey. the way that I want to say it. And you'll see all these movies, and you know what? Not a one of them, I'm so sad, is available for instant. Wait a minute, here's Tin Man. Oh, good. There you go. We were just talking about Tin Man. So this was a sci-fi uh, network um, remake of The Wizard of Oz with Zoe Deschanel as Dorothy. Uh, I think it was kind of interesting, and you can watch it right now instantly uh, just by g going to your watch instantly queue. I'm going to add this to the uh, instant queue. Uh, Netflix is famous for their lists, their queues of movies that you can watch. Um, but you can also just find something and watch it instantly, and I really love that. Why are you showing your screen? My screen's so much more interesting. Because we can't get your screen. Oh, I didn't plug it in. Yeah, that's right. I'm so stupid. Here I am scrolling around. You're not stupid. Saying, why isn't he showing it? I was sort of wondering why you were doing that. <laughs> I just, why aren't you showing what thought, I'm doing? Oh, Uncle I Leo. didn't plug this in. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. All let's right. Not plug Jeez it in Louise. <laughs> You're, severe, you're very strange. <laughs> very strange. Very strange. Anyway, if you are not a Netflix <laughs> member, don't sit staring blankly at your television. Join right now. Netflix, there we go. Netflix.com slash twit. And my friends, my dear friends, my sweet friends, my kind friends, if you're already a twit, I mean a, a Netflix member, you could support iPad today by telling your friends about this special deal and telling them a month free. Net oh, Topsy Turvy, Gilbert and Sullivan. This was such a good movie. Oh, I loved this Add it movie. to your instant Mike queue. Lee. Let's add it. Netflix.com slash twit. Free. And if your friend doesn't use Netflix, then it's like you're giving them. It's a gift. But you don't have to pay. A free gift. You don't gift. have to buy anything. Although, yeah, I have to say, gift. Netflix is a great gift for family members, like moms and dads, like I give my mother every year Netflix on her birthday, and you know what? It's now it's only seven ninety nine for streaming. I just give her that; she's really happy to save me some money. There you go. Netflix.com slash twin. It's beautiful. Oh, where's our hats? It's time for App cap time. Give me a hat. I got the pimp hat. I like this one. You That's like good. that one? Yeah, I do. I don't think of that as a pimp hat. Well, I think of it. We as have a different ideas about things. And I think of this. As a Smokey the Bear. It's that's exactly you. We would like Only to prevent you forest fires. Could prevent forest fires. We used fires. to have that up in our house when I was a kid. In your house? Yeah, and, and and then finally, friends of mine were like, "That's kind of like a weird thing to have in your house." Is there a forest fire danger in your house? Well, I think my parents just thought it was like, "Let's 
Keep Your mom Sarah was a do-gooder. Aware of fires, or <laughs> I don't know. Keep her aware we had of weird the danger stuff. of open flame. Very strange upbringing. <laughs> I mean, think so. uh, <laughs> and now I wear the hat, and she's getting all weird on me. <laughs> So I've got a favorite folder on my iPad and I'm constantly adding and subtracting things out of my favorites because I just like to be, you know, there's certain apps that you just go to constantly. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I've got a new app that I've added into my favorites folder. It's hard to get in here. You have to really like it. And it's called Scout Mob. Scout Mob, I should tell you. Well, you'll, is you can, this like Foursquare for the mob? Not really. It's more of oh, a group type of a thing. shopping thing. No, no, no. Give me a chance now. Right. The reason that this is cool, and by the way, again, it's an iPhone app. Looks just fine on the iPad because there really aren't a lot of pictures involved. I get 100% <laughs> off of things. What? Talk about free. You get free sausage? You want a free sausage from Rosa Monday? Well, guess what? Wait a minute. Do I have to buy a bunch of them? No. You just walk in Valid and say, give me a free sausage. sausage. I'm what a monster. The hell? Give me that sausage and make it snappy. That's what you do. They have a lot of these? Yeah. Well, no, they're not all 100% off. Sometimes it's, it's, it's 50% a sausage off. Fest. It's a sausage fest. If I want to go into Bun Me, Vietnam, Vietnamese, it's on Fillmore Street. It's Balance not too far from where I live. Mama Trans Crispy Spring Give Rolls. Give me those spring rolls. Give them to me. I'm How here. How do you get people to do that? Because people, small What's businesses. What's the name of this? Uh, Scout Mob. So, uh, Join the mob. Would you like to have a coupon offer on a website? That's right. Uh, it's the the reason that I like this. And by the way, I, I have this set to San Francisco. It's not in all U.S. cities. It's in a lot of the major cities. So it's so definitely these aren't worth like, seeing. This is not far away from you. This is like you could go to Bun Me. Yeah, exactly. And you know what I wow. did actually? So I I I tried it last weekend. So I'm not just saying, oh, this probably works just fine. Let's see if I can find uh, the Fillmore Street Cafe. Another um, place that you normally hang out. Well, I don't Look actually. All, like Taqueria, 100% off. Three Look Twins ice cream. Free oh, ice cream. Give me oh, that ice cream. Oh. Give me that ice cream. And then Scout Mob actually, they have like nice little um, information about the place, the hours, suggestions. Now, if there's three twins, does that mean there's six of them? Um, there is a story. You know, Three Twins has their um, factory in Petaluma. You're kidding. No. It's true story. Wow. There is a lot of ice cream made in Petaluma. True story. In fact, we Tom and I called them once because it was like a free ice cream day, and we were like, can we come to your factory? And they're like, no, we don't sell ice cream here. We have to go to one of our no, retail. you can't come here unless you're a member of Scout Mob. Right. Well, anyway, so I decided, okay, I don't want to just say that you can get a, you know, a, a spring rolls for free. I want to go try it out. So there was a 50% off um, deal these at are, a... These are remarkable. It's much better than Groupon's deals. Yeah, at a cafe I'd never been to. I like La Taqueria. It was That's 50% great. off with, with a maximum of $10 off. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go into a cafe and I'm going to spend $20, which is crazy, but it'll, I'll only end up spending 10 And as soon as I got my iPhone out, I was using my iPhone at the time, but it works fine on your iPad as well. They knew exactly what I was doing. And sure enough, it was easy as pie. When you say, go ahead and get the deal, it'll say, are you, are ready? you ready to use this deal? Because you have to be in the store. You have to be there. You have to be in the store. Yeah. So, you then know. Then we I'm, can make this thing happen. Right. <laughs> and then so, you, and you can't lie. I like, the, I like the style. Yeah, it's great. It's good stuff. I, I really like Scout Mob. Uh, I have to give kudos to David Prager. He was the first one who tweeted That's about good. it. And I was like, hmm, I haven't heard of Scout Mob before. I ended up getting $10 of somewhat mediocre food um, for free. <laughs> free. But it was free. It and Rosa Monday, I can tell you. Free mediocre food. Anybody who lives in San Francisco will tell you it's the, they're the best sausages. Who? Uh, Rosa Monday. Really? Yeah. $6 sausages for free. You can't beat it. <laughs> That's what they're saying in the chat room. Boy, it better be a good sausage for six bucks. Yeah. No, no, you, you don't understand. No, it's delicious. This is San Francisco. Yeah. Six dollars is a deal. That's right. Normally they're coffee 20. is six dollars. Co- a cup, of, a cup, a cup of coffee is six dollars. Now I'm going to show Take you this. Take my money. I, as you know, we do a great show called Twit Photo with Catherine Hall. Yes. I am an, a, a, an avid photo buff, and I know that a lot of our viewers on Twitter are photo buffs. Uh, and I found a new photo magazine. This just came out. The, that is, it's a very well-known print magazine called the British Journal of Photography. I've never heard of it. I feel yeah, dumb. Very well-known. But here's, they've done something kind of interesting. They've got an iPad app, a very good app, and they're going to only, the app is free, of course, but they're going to charge 99 cents for each issue of the magazine. And I think that's really remarkable. I have to say, mm. uh, it's a it's a very beautifully done uh, production. Um, you see great images. You know, photography on the iPad is just such a natural, isn't it? It it's is. It's so beautiful. That's why I gravitate to all those design apps that you can't figure out because I just like looking at stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the same thing going on. So you can see I have a table of contents. I have a, a bookmarks if I want to place them. A whole list of all the issues. You download them one at a time. Ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. Um, 
You can also uh, scout through the uh, ish, the uh, pages like this, which I think is a, is a, all all uh, these magazines should have this. They have interviews with great people. They have lots of images in here. If you're uh, serious about photography, you might as well go ahead and get the um, um, the application and download one or two of the uh, ninety nine cent one or two of the magazines. Yeah, and see if you like it. It's I think it's quite good. It just happened, so there's only uh, one issue available right now. We've talked to six photographers who's moved beyond the still image, and that's what is interesting because now this is on the iPad. It's not just stills. Ooh. So you could start to, you know, they, they could do stuff they can't do in a print magazine. Yeah, neato. So, yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, you'd never, you just wouldn't be able to see that. You wouldn't be able otherwise. to see it. They've got video, they've got, I don't know what that was, an animated GIF, some, something like that. I guess. So, um, and this isn't doing anything. Maybe it's just still loading. Um, I have to say, it's, 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 a, it's a really nice, um, there we go, here's another one. Really nice uh, magazine uh, uh, format and, and lots of great information. If you like photography, you want to see what great photographers are doing. Uh, this is absolutely uh, free for the app and 99 cents for each magazine, which is a great deal. And you know, remember Apple's Can taking... you AirPlay this stuff to your TV? Mm. Click on it yeah, and see. Is, because, of course, you can't. Well, well, we don't have AirPlay enabled in here, but, but, but yeah, you, you should be able to. Because this is just a plain old quick right, video, right? Right, right. See, that's so, cool. See, for stuff like this, where it's like, it's high quality, right. then it's fun to hang out in your and living room. You know, they talk about the photographer and, you know, what's going on and, uh, and all of this. Uh, this is shot with a red camera, so you're going you know, you're gonna to see much better uh, fidelity than you see even if you watched us uh, do this. Um, so I just think, I, I really think this is exciting. Anyway, digital uh, British uh, Journal of Photography. That's right. And completely free. Free for the app, of course, but uh, the app doesn't come with any content, so you're going to need to buy issues. That's ninety nine cents each. Look at this. This is great. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> What's going on? I just, you know, he just ate a lot of peanut butter. Yeah, he's, he's ate a lot of. He's kind of. He's, just like make, Mr. he's Ed. making faces. This is how you make teenagers. Kids talk. being kids. Yeah. Those people do not look very happy. Well, again, this is art. Baby. You know, photography art makes is. You cry. Yeah, it's cruel stuff. It's, it's a cruel. It's a, it's a mad, mad world. War, uh, war image. Vim Vendors, the great director. Uh, here's a, a Melinda Gibson, a great photographer. Her portfolio with uh, with text as well. So it's wow. Good stuff. Isn't that cool? I love it. We could go on forever, but uh, We're we out of time. now we have to leave. Yeah, Tom yeah. Merritt's here champing at the bit. Thank you, Silverblade, for reminding us that we're running super late. Um, Silverblade, tell us that. Silverblade told us that. Thank you, Silverblade. I mean, I, I knew, but it's, you know, it's. Uh, he well, doesn't well. shut up. Mm. Hey, wonderful show. Thank you so much for joining us. We Absolutely. appreciate it on our one millionth episode. <laughs> That's <laughs> one millionth. Design is episode 62. Right, we fooled But you. in our hearts, it's a million because it feels like we've been doing it forever. <laughs> she feels that way. Thanks, everybody, She's for joining like, us. so sick of working with me. I know, it's not true. <laughs> I love working with you. Are you kidding? Oh, God. All right, you know what? I've had enough. <laughs> We're done. Ow! Don't, is that it? Bye. Bye. Ow!